stuck. Get this camera going. I'm stuck in traffic at a traffic stop because there's road construction. And it's starting to get hot. It's over 80 degrees right now. Oh, it came back on. Looks like we're rolling again. in another roadblock here because of road construction roasting sitting on this 250 degree v-twin air-cooled harley-davidson engine and i don't know how much longer this is going to take but i'm ready to get moving so i'm just east of a little town called colgate and i'm heading to talamina it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I think it's Tuesday. Kind of lost track of time. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm stuck here on the road, making my way to Talamina. Okay, talk to you guys later.
Hootie Creek. Can I help you? Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Richard. I have a reservation. Um, I called yeah. you yesterday. Yep. Yeah, this is Mike. I'm the one that talked to you. Okay. Uh, you here? Yes. Excellent. All right. Good deal. I was waiting on you. I'll be down uh, front in one second. Get you all checked. In. Okay. G good deal because I only got 4% left on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm on my way. I'll all right. See you Talk to you later. Hey, do you mind being in a YouTube video? No, I don't care. Okay, thank you. You uh, document everything? Well, yeah, I do, I do a moto vlog. Ah, yeah, cool. Oh, Lord. That was, that was some ride. <laughs> it's going to cool off tonight. You'll have a beautiful, good evening. I'm going to shut this one down. I'll wait for you if you want. That's okay. I'm just, I'll just carry my helmet. And then you're going to be in room two. Okay. Now, the great thing about these rooms, or the fun thing I should say, is when the hotel was built in 1948, this is the size in which all the rooms were. Gotcha. So these are load-bearing walls, and the rooms could not be made larger. Okay. So they still have the same footprint from 1948 from when it was built. So... This is what was going on back then with uh that's awesome uh oh it's actually a pretty good sized room really yeah it's not bad the showers you'll see it, it gets pretty tight and the okay. bathroom is very very small but okay you know um, everything's updated so a lot of great history out through the hallway and i'll show you some some fun history over here so i bought the the building and reopened it uh, November 1st of 2019. So the hotel was locked up when I bought it. It was not up and functioning. Okay. And there were just boxes and junk everywhere. And I was cleaning out one of the rooms and found a box just laying on the floor and all this trash. And these are some of the things that all were that in cool it. So if you look at, first of all, the perfect condition of this paperwork, handwritten check 1928. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Cool. Yeah. Here's handwritten notes from 1934 these are old bank statements but you know 1926 may of 1926 so there it's it's incredible how all of this was in perfect it is condition. yeah that's and amazing it, it was just laying in a box on the floor well wow. i'm a history so, teacher so i love history yeah. so anyway there's a lot in me You'll have to Meet check it out. Pretty that close. I've, um, put up, and then yeah. a lot of the history is already here. Yeah, cool. So, although this hotel was built in 1948, it replaced the first hotel that was built in the early 1900s that burned down. Oh, okay. So, if we, if you want to take a second and go look sure. at a picture real quick, I'm going to show you the original hotel. Okay. Yeah. So this is the one that burned down? Yeah, so right here oh, yeah. was the first hotel built in 1906 on this exact spot. And it burnt down in 1947, leading to this modern fireproof hotel built in 1948. And there'll be a binder on your pillows that will have a photocopy of the original newspaper article announcing the opening of this in 1948. <laughs> so that'll be a fun, yeah, that's fun. Fun thing for you to check out. Uh, years ago, when the hotel first opened, back in '48, this used to be a diner. There's one of the original menus. How fun! That's an original menu from the 1940s and 50s, from when this was a diner. And look at those prices. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. And there's also a pavilion outside for you. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to really investigate yeah. and then the local newspaper so yeah cool yeah so make yourself at home and enjoy awesome thank you appreciate it and your name is mike 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 yes okay nice to meet you yeah. all right i'm gonna get all my my gear unloaded and get set up here howdy okay. cool 
Okay. Thank you. Yeah, leave a uh, leave a thing with your travel blog. I'd love to look it up. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I've got some. With, uh, I've got some stickers. I'll give you a sticker. Yeah, leave yeah. it right in the box if oh, I don't see oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a lot of followers yet. I haven't really been doing it that long, but it yeah. takes a while to get a channel going and to get subscribers. So, yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. That's cool. You're doing it, though. Yeah, it's fun. It gives me something to do to stay out of trouble. <laughs> Hey, YouTube peeps. Okay, so I'm at the Tallahina Woody Creek House Hotel and Lodge, I guess. I need to find something to eat though, because I'm starving to death. And I'm pooped, because it's about 5.30. I've been going all day. I'm not sure what's over there. It looks like it might be something over here. Let's go see what this is. Looks like it might be a restaurant. No telling what this is. You know what? I gotta go back because I forgot my wallet. This is a really cool place. But I can't buy any food without my wallet. Try that again. stations would have thunk it I don't know what this is could be a restaurant I guess Oh, 
I see the diner. There's a diner over there. Let's go check out the diner. Okay, so I'm walking over to the diner. I don't know why I'm whispering. I guess because I was inside that hotel. It was really quiet in there. So it's like conditioned. Okay, I'm walking over to the diner. There's a subway somewhere also. Okay, well that was a that was a good choice. <clears throat> Had the fried catfish and baked potato and a salad. It's pretty darn good. I am stuffed. In fact, I couldn't finish it all. Okay, I'm heading back across the road here. Try not to get run over. It's a neat little town. Back across the road, I'm heading back down to the hotel. You can see how close I am to the, the restaurant that I just went to. There's the bike down there, Hootie Creek. Hootie Creek. Okay. Well, I am gonna shut this down and head back to my room. All right. Talk to you guys later. This may be the last video I make this evening, so tomorrow starts day three. All right. Goodbye. Thank you.